What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about the overarching theme of ice baths. We will kind of go into the role and question of do ice baths help you as a jiu-jitsu athlete? In the reality, if you're doing any type of intensive sport, uh, working out really hard, ice baths are definitely gonna play a positive role in all of those. Let's take a dive in, literally, into ice baths and how it plays in part of kind of a jiu-jitsu athlete. If you don't know already, I myself do a lot of ice baths. You probably have seen them in the vlogs that I've done in previous videos. I'm always doing ice baths um, before and after training sessions a lot of the times to help me recover and get back on the mats as soon as possible. We'll start out by just clearing up a misconception. Typically people believe that ice baths help with muscle hypertrophy, meaning that if you take ice baths after your workout, it helps you get big and swole. While in the reality, a lot of times that there is evidence that point to the fact of the opposite. Um, typically, you know, ice kind of shoots down your hypertrophy and helps you recover the muscles a lot faster. Some people find good results by doing an ice bath about 30 minutes before a hypertrophy session. While ice baths typically help you recover um, faster away from the gym, away from the mats, whatever you're doing, that way you can get back to the gym faster, feeling a lot stronger. So yeah, typically ice baths aren't really used for muscle growth and um, getting big and swole. Rather, it's probably more better for using it as an aid for recovery, especially in an intensive sport with whatever you're doing. In this case, jujitsu, uh, where you're constantly working on your endurance, you're inverting, you're squeezing, you're pushing, things like that. Uh, you can be really sore after a really intense training session and um, that's kind of like what the uh, whole, whole theme of this video is regarding the recovery um, from those sessions utilizing an ice bath. Typically ice bath temperature ranges from like 45 degrees to sometimes 60 degrees Fahrenheit and upon like submersion in an ice bath like this for sometimes you know, three minutes, sometimes one minute, sometimes series of one minutes, or maybe you can go, you know, if you can go eight minutes straight. Basically sessions like these will help you reduce the inflammation, making sure that you recover faster and ultimately become less sore. You still probably be, will be sore. It's not gonna take it away forever. You're, there's still like a lactic acid buildup. However, nonetheless, um, the whole idea is to reduce the inflammation after, you know, an intense training session. That way you can get back to the match a lot quicker and you won't encounter as often those stages where you're so sore and so stiff where it's really hard to move and turn. A lot of times um, when you you know apply an ice bath to the recovery routine, um, you're able to kind of bounce back and get the mobility um, a lot quicker rather than being super sore for like a day or maybe even like a day or two but where you're extremely stiff from a previous training session. And another great benefit from ice baths uh, as far as incorporating into your routine is that it helps you kind of build resilience right so uh, that word kind of gets thrown around a lot and basically what that means is you're pushing through something that's pretty uncomfortable and you're building you know like a callus in your in your mind for that stimulus um, it's basically discipline right in other words so ultimately what's happening is that once you get submerged in you feel like getting out you want to get out but when you stay in and then you pass a threshold of uncomfortable of uh, the feeling of uncomfortableness um, you, once you're able to stay in there, you're building resilience. You're doing something that's really uncomfortable and you're finding peace within that uncomfortable uh, stimuli. And that's pretty much what resilience is. And the reason why I like that is because in Jiu Jitsu, it's not necessarily the most comfortable sport, especially if you're a competitor, especially if you have really tough rounds with really tough guys, with really tough teammates. Um, it can be kind of frustrating and it can be really challenging in situations during a training session, right? Whether it's during a roll, you're being mounted, your back is taken. Um, I, in, my, in my findings, my personal findings, I find that um, spending time in ice baths helps me get a greater sense of self-control so that way in situations where I do end up in bad positions like mount or my back is taken or I'm in bottom side control, I'm able to be okay and comfortable in those situations and work my way inch by inch to escape and ultimately stay calm so that way I don't expose myself to be getting submitted or anything like this. That's one of my favorite takeaways from a ice bath, cold plunge, cold exposure. Um, it's gonna be the discipline uh, alongside obviously the recovery. Um, but the, the mind is just becoming a lot stronger when it's when it gets faced with something extremely uncomfortable. 
One thing that ice baths do is that once you're submerged in temperatures like I mentioned before, your body is basically producing tons of noradrenaline, which is also known as norepinephrine. And basically what this does is it controls the levels of your stress, AKA your cortisol, and get you more relaxed and more peaceful, calm feeling. Um, that's really important, especially if you're doing a training session and it's really tough, really hard, really challenging, uh, most likely your adrenaline is going to be really high um, and it increases your stress levels whether you like it or not because there are a lot of things that increases stress levels in humans in general and obviously training is some one of those things especially when you're defending against somebody who's trying to submit you it might seem like a daily routine something you do all the time but what's actually happening is there's something very primal that's going on uh, in the back of your head and basically what's happening is that your subconscious is in like a fight or flight mode where you're literally defending for your life that's why a lot of times if you have a really tough training session um, like at nighttime uh, sometimes it can be pretty difficult to fall asleep after that because your adrenaline is just so high and that's pretty much what ice baths help you uh, recover from it reduces the cortisol reduces the stress and allows you to recover and become a lot more relaxed uh, quicker in addition to that it also boosts your dopamine by like I heard 200 sometimes 250 more percent um, and also with that spike of dopamine, there's not really a heavy crash. A lot of times you can kind of chill out at that level, which is why you'll feel extremely, you know, like blissful, happy, calm, relaxed, peaceful after an ice bath. Um, and you'll stay with that feeling for like a couple of hours. One thing that I noticed, and obviously I did my own research regarding brown fat versus white fat. And typically the brown fat is like your thermal layer um, on your body that kind of helps you stay warm. And when you expose yourself to cold temperatures like an ice bath or even just a cold shower in the morning, your brown fat gets activated because it has to keep itself warm. Where the brown fat is a lot more dense than the white fat and it helps keep your body warmer um, a lot easier. Okay, so that's why if you notice the more you take cold showers or cold baths or whatever kind of cold exposure, the more frequently you do it, the easier it gets because your brown fat gets activated, making your thermal system, you know, like the ability for you to stay warm a lot easier, right? So um, at first, like I thought it was gonna be pretty hard for me to stay in an ice bath because I don't have like a lot of fat in my body fat percentage isn't that high, which in my mind, I thought that it would be a lot easier for me to get a lot colder. Um, but in the reality, the more I did ice baths, even though I don't have a lot of bat body fat, I was able to be in a cold plunge for a lot longer than I had before, uh, obviously. And that kind of goes into the resilience as well. That resilience skill in my mind gets sharper and uh, stronger with each ice bath. So not only will you be getting all those benefits, but the more ice baths you do, uh, over time, you'll probably get a lot more shredded, a lot more cut, and things like this, which is really cool. All right, so what I do as far as incorporating ice baths, cold exposure into my routine is it starts off in the morning. Every morning is a cold shower, even though my shower doesn't get, you know, like super cold, super freezing, uh, things like that. However, just that a little bit a day will one, wake me up and kind of activate the brown fat in my body, whether I'm consciously expecting it or not, it's just happening. So I'm doing that every day and I've been doing that every day for a really long time. Uh, and when I can, I try to get an ice bath session um, at least once a week. I don't do it every day as much as I would like to. It's pretty difficult if you don't have like a built-in cold plunge like in your backyard or on your porch or something like that. Um, and a lot of times if you want to go out and buy ice, it can get pretty expensive. And typically the ratio for an, a bag of ice from like a convenience store is like one to three dollars for a seven pound bag. So if you want like a really good ice bath, I mean, you, you, you want like maybe 10 to 15 bags of ice. And that can get pretty expensive if you wanna do it a lot or as frequent as you want. Um, cold plunges are my favorite, I like those. And if I can have access to those, I would go at least once a week and um, at least on a, like maybe a Sunday to kind of recharge my body and get me ready for the week, right? Uh, and maybe after like a really intense session or if there's a Friday where I'm extremely sore from the week of training twice a day, then I might go out, get some ice bags myself and do the ice bath in the bathtub. So that's kind of my routine. I definitely don't skip out on the uh, cold showers. Honestly, it's not even that cold. It just helps me wake up. Um, but that definitely helps with my routine and my recovery as a jiu-jitsu athlete. As far as like the timing goes, how long should you even be in an ice bath? Well, for me, when I would go to a cold plunge, I would do rounds of time. 
So the first round I would do would be three minutes and then I would step out, let my body um, warm up on its own. Just kind of have my body work to heat itself back up. Once I get warm, um, I'll jump back in for another three minutes and I'll do that probably like sometimes four times. So it's basically four sets of three minutes of cold exposure and that comes out to about 12 minutes uh, in one session. That's definitely a good benchmark for me as far as a recovery session. I'll definitely feel like a million bucks and at the same time I'll sleep really great that day. Um, I'll just feel super relaxed, super calm and uh, the next day I'll just feel like a million bucks. That's my routine, especially if I go to a cold plunge. Um, if it's an ice bath, um, obviously you don't have the luxury of kind of going in and out, in and out because, well, the ice is melting and the ice bath is getting warmer, right? So if I were to do an ice bath in my bathtub, like right now, um, I wouldn't do it in sections. I would just do it in one straight go and um, it would probably be a straight 10 minutes, right? So I would go into an ice bath for about 10 minutes, uh, neck deep. Um, and then after that, I would just let my body warm up on its own, like I mentioned originally. And guys, that pretty much wraps up the video why I think ice baths are great for recovery, resiliency, discipline, um, all those things that kind of go into, you know, a martial artist, whether you do wrestling, judo, boxing, jujitsu, football, basketball, things like this. I have a lot of friends that do a lot of different sports like weightlifting and CrossFit. Um, all of them are never opposed to an ice bath session when I ask them if they want to go. So guys, also just be careful. Um, I don't want to recommend you guys do anything that you guys aren't capable of. There can always be like injuries or people getting hurt or, or people getting sick also from ice baths or cold plunges especially because it kind of gets you so cold where your immune system might not be prepared for it. You might be sneezing after. Uh, it happened to me like once or twice where I'd come out sneezing just because my immune system was pushed to its limits by being so cold. So guys, um, ice baths, do these in moderation. Use it to supplement your recovery and I hope you guys enjoy and stay safe with this intel. And yeah, I, lo I love ice bath. I think it's great for recovery, especially for a jiu-jitsu athlete. If you like this video, like and comment, share this with someone who you think should use, could use an ice bath session. Um, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. If I missed any information, let me know. Thanks so much for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed. I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's perfect time.